Good morning. Welcome back to the Higher Grounds Podcast. This is your morning minute meditation for this morning. I'd like to call your attention to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and chapter number 5. Of course, we don't have time to read uh, both texts in its entirety. And so I encourage you to get in the Word of God this morning and uh, get your Bible reading done. And, and maybe you could read 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and chapter number 5. When you come to chapter number four, the Apostle Paul is continuing a thought that is run through chapter three, and he's talking about the ministry. In chapter four, in the beginning of the chapter, you'll find there's treasures in the ministry. In the middle of the chapter, Paul begins to deal with the trouble that is in the ministry. But when Paul closes out chapter four, he deals with the triumph of the ministry. And so when you study chapter four, the Apostle Paul is dealing with life's present trouble and eternity's future triumph. He compares the troubles that we face in our present life, and he compares them or weighs them out, what he says in the text, concerning our our eternal triumph. In other words, when we stand on the sunny banks of sweet deliverance, our troubles will only be a memory. And so when you come to chapter 5, the Apostle Paul has dealt with enduring hardships in this life. When he comes to chapter number five, he is not dealing with enduring hardships of this life. He is dealing with us enjoying the hope of the next life. And so he begins to talk about uh, the assurance of the believer. The first part of the text, you'll find there's the certainty of death. And he begins to describe the death of the believer as like taking down a tent and our bodies dissolving, going back to the ground. But then in the last part of the verse, he begin, the last part of the chapter, he begins to deal with are not only a certainty of death, but the confidence of our deliverance. And one of my favorite verses are in Second Corinthians 5 and 8. Paul said, we're confident, I say, and willing rather be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So when you get to chapter number 5, he is dealing with enjoying the hope of the next life. And can I say that's what helps us endure the hardships of this life? It is the hope of the next life.